According to a new study from the Federal Reserve, the percentage of parents who say they're doing okay financially significantly dropped in 2023. But for other adults, those without kids, those numbers held steady. The National Desk, Jeff Harris, joining us. And Jeff, we've been talking about this for a while. We know the rising cost of childcare is certainly a massive burden. But is there anything else parents say is stretching them thin? Child care is the big one, Dee Dee, with some programs, as we know, costing tens of thousands of dollars a year, depending on where you live. But this study also highlighted something else that's created a bit of a financial strain for parents. Grocery shopping. A married mom of two living in suburban Pennsylvania, Sarah Lamb tells us to feed her family, specifically her two daughters, it can get pricey. It is so expensive to, to give a child the number of blueberries and strawberries and blackberries and raspberries that they want to eat in a day. Then add child care in the mix, and that bill gets even bigger. Lamb says to send her two daughters to daycare, it costs $2,500 every month. We literally joke that as soon as our kids are not in child and daycare anymore, we can just buy a second house. Today, both Lamb and her husband are a bit more established in their careers, so they can afford to send their kids to daycare. But things were different a few years ago out anywhere really <laughs> because it was just like keep a roof over your head um feed your kids make sure they get the formula and the diapers and the wipes an economics professor ben hansen tells us not only are prices going up but financial aid provided during the pandemic like the expanded child tax credit no longer exists if you lose three thousand dollars a year that was essentially being set aside to help you be a parent whether or not that's paying for child care costs or paying for groceries you're going to feel that. And because of these rising costs, some families are now forced to make tough decisions, like becoming a single income household. I think a lot of families are doing the math and coming up with the uh, you know, realization that it doesn't make sense sometimes to be a two earner household. Now, according to that survey by the Federal Reserve, the share of parents who said they were doing at least OK fell five percentage points last year. That number is also down 11 points from 2021. Reporting for the National Desk, I'm Jeff Howard.